today we will discuss a question that has appeared in the national eligibility test net net in the 26th november 2020 paper it is under the section b and uh, it bears question number 33 and it is on the topic complex analysis i first state the example and then discuss its solution let gamma be the positively oriented circle in the complex plane given by the set of all those z belongs to c such that mod z minus 1 is equal to 1 then 1 by 2 pi i integral taken round gamma dz by z cube minus 1 equals four options are given 1 2 3 4 solution we discuss the solution of this problem under two methods the first one is using cauchy's integral formula and the second one is using cauchy's residue theorem first we take up the solution using cauchy's integral formula we have gamma the set of all z belongs to c modulus of z minus 1 is equal to 1 it is a circle with the center at 1 at z is equal to 1 and radius 1 let g of z is equal to 1 by z cube minus 1 and clearly this function is analytic inside and on gamma except at the poles the poles of g z are given by the zeros of the denominator so observe that g of z is analytic inside and on gamma except at z cube minus 1 is equal to 0 that is the zeros of the denominator factorization z minus 1 into z square plus z plus 1 is equal to 0 the roots are z is equal to 1 and minus 1 plus r minus i root 3 by 2 this is omega and omega square so these are the poles simple poles of g of z so notice that z is equal to 1 lies inside gamma because one happens to be the center of gamma and and these two omega and omega square uh, you know its its distance from 1 we calculate we calculate if it is greater than 1 it lies outside gamma if it is less than 1 then it lies inside gamma so therefore modulus of minus 1 plus r minus i root 3 by 2 minus 1 its distance from 1 mod of that is equal to simplify that is equal to 1 by 2 mod of minus 3 plus r minus i root 3 that is equal to 1 by 2 under the square root of minus 3 whole square plus root 3 whole square that is equal to 1 by 2 under the square root of 9 plus 3 that is equal to 1 by 2 under the square root of 12 and 12 is 2 root th- 2 root 3 and 2 uh, to cancels you will get root 3 root 3 greater than 1 therefore these uh, complex numbers uh, these poles will lie outside dash minus 1 plus r minus i root 3 by 2 lie outside gamma we continue the discussion in the next slide we have this gamma this is the circle with center 1 and radius 1 now 1 by 2 pi i, integral taken round gamma of dz by z cube minus 1 can be written as 1 by 2 pi i, integral taken round gamma 1 by z square plus z plus 1 by z minus 1 dz 
that is equal to 1 by 2 pi i integral taken round gamma fz by z minus 1 dz where fz is 1 by z square plus z plus 1. We see f of z is equal to 1 by z square plus z plus 1 is analytic inside and on gamma inside and gamma and it is regular inside and on gamma it has no poles inside and gamma the poles of this happens to be outside gamma therefore it's regular inside and on gamma and z is equal to 1 lies inside gamma here we recall cauchy's integral formula let f of z be analytic inside and on a simple closed contour c let a be any point inside c and f of z is analytic inside and on c and a b any point in c then f of a the value of f at a is equal to 1 by 2 pi i integral taken round c f of z by z minus a dz where c is taken in the positive sense that is in the anti clockwise direction so now we apply we apply cautious integral formula here so by cautious integral formula integral 1 by 2 pi i integral taken round gamma fz by z minus 1 is equal to f of 1 and f of 1 happens to be f of 1 is equal to 1 by 1 square plus 1 plus 1 that is 1 by 3 so therefore 1 by 2 pi i integral taken round gamma fz by z cube minus 1 dz is equal to 1 by 3 let's look at our options and 1 by 3 happens to be uh, against the option 2 so therefore our answer is option 2 we continue the discussion in the next slide by the method of Cauchy's residue theorem this is our problem So, solution, we, we will find the solution using Cauchy's residue theorem. We have the circle gamma with the center at 1 and the radius 1, right. Let f of z is equal to 1 by z cube minus 1. Observe that f of z is analytic inside and on gamma except at a finite number of poles. The poles of f of z are given by the, the roots of the denominator that is 1 by that is z cube minus 1. So the, the roots of the denominator z cube minus 1 are given by z cube minus 1 is equal to 0 implies factorization z minus 1 into z square plus z plus 1 is equal to 0 and this will imply z is equal to 1 and minus 1 plus or minus i root 3 by 2 what we did even in the last section that is the poles of fz are z is equal to 1 minus 1 plus or minus i root 3 by 2 and uh, note that these uh, each pole is simple because it is a pole of order 1 notice that z is equal to 1 lies inside gamma and the other poles minus 1 plus or minus i root 3 by 2 lies outside gamma this is the test what we have made and uh, they will lie outside gamma we continue in the next slide We see that f of z is equal to 1 by z cube minus 1 is analytic inside and on gamma and the simple pole z is equal to 1 lies inside gamma and the other two poles lie outside and uh, to apply Cauchy's residue theorem we have to honor only those poles which lie inside gamma therefore we will consider the simple pole z is equal to 1 lies inside gamma. 
we recall cauchy's residue theorem let f of z be analytic inside and on a simple closed contour c except at a finite number of isolated singularities z1 z2 zn lying inside c then integral taken around gamma f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i times sigma i is equal to 1 to n residue of fz at z is equal to z i so that is 2 pi i into the sum of the residues at its simple poles which lie inside c where c is traversed in the positive sense that is in the anti clockwise direction so we apply that and uh, by Cauchy's residue theorem, integral taken round gamma f of z dz is equal to integral taken round gamma 1 by z cube minus 1 dz is equal to 2 pi i into residue of fz at z is equal to 1 because z is equal to 1 is the only pole which lie inside gamma. The other two will lie outside gamma. So, now we, have, we want the residue. We recall a, a formula for computing the residue of fz at z is equal to 1 at a simple pole z is equal to 1. If z is equal to a is a simple pole of an analytic function f of z, then residue of f of z, residue of f of z at z is equal to a will be limit z tends to a of z minus a into f of z. So, we apply here limit rib the residue, residue of f of z, z is equal to 1 is equal to limit z tends to 1, z minus 1 into f of z. That is equal to limit z tends to 1 of z minus 1 into 1 by z cube minus 1. That is equal to limit z tends to 1, z minus 1 into 1 by z minus 1 into z square plus z plus 1, z minus 1, z minus 1 cancels that is equal to limit z tends to 1, 1 by z square plus z plus 1, that is equal to 1 by 1 square plus 1 plus 1, that is 1 by 3, because 1 by z square plus z plus 1 is continuous, the limit will be obtained by simply substituting z is equal to 1 in it, because it is a continuous function. So, it is 1 by 3. So, therefore, integral taken around gamma 1 by z cube minus 1 dz is equal to 2 pi i into the residue of fz at z is equal to 1, that is 1 by 3, 2 pi i into 1 by 3. Now, take out this 2 pi i from right hand side to the left hand side, then it becomes 1 by 2 pi i integral taken round gamma 1 by z cube minus 1 dz is equal to 1 by 3. That is our answer. Let us look at the options given to us. 1 by 3 is against the option 2. Therefore, our answer is option 2. This comes to the end of the discussion. We will meet again with some other question at some other time. Thank you.